Hello, Latinos in Clinical Research. Um, in honor to the Heritage, uh, Latino Her Hispanic Heritage Month, Month, we would like to share some information about uh, the demographics and the census, the new census population for the United States. That is very, very important uh, because it has a lot of diversity, and that's a topic that we're passionate about. So we're going to be talking today about uh, how minorities by the by 2045 are gonna be a very large number in the United States. And it seems that uh, 2045 is way, way far. But uh, I mean, if we think about it, time passed by so fast <laughs> that in no time we're gonna be there. And uh, so uh, according to the new statistics, uh, uh, in the um, in United States, uh, basically 51% of the population uh, by 2045 are going to be minorities. And this includes 24%, 24 24.6% of Hispanic, which is basically almost half of this uh, minority population. And then it's followed by uh, African Americans with 13.1%. Then Asian, 7.9%, and then multiracial, which will be 3.8%. And then 49.7% 40, is going to be white Americans. So these statistics are very, very important because obviously right now we've been talking about uh, diversity and the importance of diversity in clinical research, in the workforce. But if we think about this is going to be uh, very important throughout the whole <laughs> country, and if and, and if we see it um, from the company's perspective and the workforce, every single company in the United States should be prepared for this uh, because it is, it's going to bring a lot of diversity in the workforce, and not to mention that the younger generations now more than ever have um, interest in working in organizations that are inclusive. And this involves, obviously, uh, diversity in the workforce. And it's not just bringing uh, workforce or opening the human resources department for a diverse group of uh, participants or diverse group of professionals, but also make them comfortable and, and uh, make them inclu include in this organization. So that's something that uh, the organization should be thinking about uh, right now and how it's going to change uh everything um, in the obviously right now for us especially in the pharmaceutical industry uh in between there is a chief in results of two trends first between 2018 and 2060 uh, gains will continue to be in the combined of racial minority population growing by 74 percent second during this time frame the aging white population will see a modest immediate gain through 2024 and then experience a long-term decline through 2060 uh, in consequence of more than deaths than births, as we can see here in this graphic. Well, that's just amazing. Those numbers are really great. And I think that that really goes to say that it's not just so much importance that, you know, um, you know, these CRO sponsors, corporations be more, you know, uh, open to diversity inclusivity, but also to start having conversations with those that are already in the workforce, right, that are already there, have the sit downs with them, make sure that they are part of the conversation. Um, I've heard multiple people before within the industry that, you know, do go to some meet, some meetings or are part of this new wave of being involved and things like that, that, you know, a lot of the conversation is just that, you know, they have concerns, but that mainly are that they're not in the conversation. So not in those meetings, they're not, you know, giving the opportunity to kind of voice them, voice themselves about how they view things, you know, for, from situations in regards to, you know, uh, different ways and how an applicant applies. Another way is how they're actually, you know, how they, can um, how they can relate when it comes to the way that training modules are placed and things like that. Like all these little things really matter. And part of, you know, I guess these companies kind of getting part of the program is, you know, again, speaking with those that are already, you know, 
in their industry and in their company, as well as collaborating with organizations such as us so that, you know, we can work together to make sure that we do everything we can to really represent Latinos, but not just Latinos, right? You know, all ethnicities as a whole. Yeah, and, and now that you mentioned that about the organizations, it's also, uh, I was reading recently that um, many of the organizations, and uh, actually a large number of organizations, uh, have a very few um, my, uh, diversity groups in the board of directors that usually are uh, uh, white Americans, and they basically, what, what they do is, uh, actually white male Americans. So that means that also uh, women <laughs> are kind of left out that uh, part, right? So uh, it's very important that is th this this um, board of directors also have a diverse group of uh, professionals because, uh, I mean, obviously uh, the women, the older, uh, the minorities and the LGTB, uh, LGBT organizations have also very experienced professionals uh, that have a different point of view and can bring a new perspective and a fr fresh ideas to organizations. Yeah, 100%. And I think that, you know, um, going about it the old ways where it's just, you know, oh, let's go through the process, the SOP, send it off for procedures of, you know, how we go about making change and things like that. But, you know, change with change comes different techniques, different approaches, right? So I think that's another thing that they need to be fully aware of that, you know, you want to also, again, add other groups, had different points of views, making sure that there's different voices being heard throughout the conversation and uh, perspectives. And even on like, edu uh, not education tier, but like, you know, uh, job, job tier, right? Up at the very top, all the way down to, you know, the lower end. So everybody gets a viewpoint and, and how things are being addressed and that everybody's being considered. Yeah, so I encourage you to take a look of, your web, of the company website, of your company website, uh, check it out, what's the diversity and the inclusion uh, statements, and if they truly are committing to that. And let's speak up, let's, let's be a voice for everybody. If we all uh, work together, we're gonna push the industry to move faster. 100%, and if your company or a few in your company are a part of a resource group, a BRG, or any type of uh, Latino organization, you know, feel free to let your you know, uh, leaders or co-boards co know about us. We are happy and open for collaboration, having discussions, um, coming and having speaking sessions with, you, with your group, so please reach out to us. Again, we are happy and open to doing everything we can to be involved in this industry. Yeah, and just a quick thing to add, because I know we talked a lot about the workforce, but this is also for those who are designing clinical research studies, whether it's in an academic setting, non-academic setting, pharmaceutical companies. Um, this is a data I'm sure they're looking at uh, when you start designing those protocols of what type of patients you want to include, the conditions you're looking at, the medications, that you already start considering that you want to recruit, um, you want to design that protocol for a diverse um, patient population. And so hopefully um, this, you know, I'm sure that's something that's already starting to be done, but, um, and we can see that a lot more than that in the future. That's actually a great point, uh, Julie, because just imagine if they don't make these protocols more inclusive, they are going to be kind, kind of lifting out half of the population in the United States in some point. Yep, 100%. So hopefully this message gets spread. And, you know, if, if uh, you know of anybody particular that needs to hear this message, please share this video with them. Again, the more that people we can reach, the more conversations we can have openly and candidly about these topics that need to be discussed. Yes, please share, like yes. us, follow us, and keep on learning together. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank attending. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye.